Hi, I'm Bill Greenberg with PhoneScholar.com. Today is Wednesday, July 24th, 2000. And I can't forget today because I have to wish a huge happy birthday to my son Andy. Happy birthday, Andy. He's 10 years old today. And I was actually going to have him in the video, but his grandfather is uh, taking him out for dinner. So uh, maybe uh, we'll get him in sometime this week uh, other than that. Okay, what's on the website today? Uh, basically, I broke down one article into three because it's so long, but I thought it was a really, really great article. Uh, the, main, the main thing is mobile OS deathmatch, Apple iOS 4 versus Android 2.2. And basically, uh, this person basically compared the two operating systems side by side for some key factors, which I'll go over in a second and then created a winner for each category. So the key factors, the key comparisons are email calendars and contacts, applications, web and internet, location support, user interface, and under user interface is text selection and copying, security and management. So these basic features and in there there were some sub features also that, I, that they went into and they went very very in depth into both and I thought it was a terrific terrific article. It was extremely long, so that's why I broke it into three separate articles so you could kind of uh, go in there and see which one, which areas you think would be best to look at and it would be much easier reading. So I hope you enjoy those. So it kind of makes for a quick, quick uh, video today because I'm not going to talk about three different stories, but I will say the winner between the two uh, operating systems is... you got to read the articles. It's in the third article down. The, the overall winner. So if you just want to skip to the end, if you're one of those people who want to skip to the end, it's in the third one. But go ahead and check it out. Great stuff. Under categories, under Android and Verizon, Motorola and Verizon make quick fix on Droid X display problems. And basically, uh, the day after it was released last week, and they said less than one tenth of one percent of customers experienced a flickering or banding on the screen and Motorola has already fixed the problem they said and the new ones that are being shipped out have the problem fixed already if yours still has that problem they're saying either take it to a Motorola service center or even better take it to Verizon uh, and they will for the most part replace the phone is what I've been told now the only thing is if there's out of stock issues then you're gonna have to get it ordered I heard that the flickering is not horrendous it's still something that you could still use with the phone but it is kind of annoying but as opposed to the 22 days that Apple d took to kind of make a resolve, Motorola fixed this within about five or six days, admitted that there was a problem, and got it fixed. So great customer service on their part. Congratulations. Under Apple iPad and iPhone, and I put this article on just to show you that the antenna problems and the antenna gate and everything, for the most part from a consumer standpoint, mean nothing. Apple res results wow Wall Street surpassed Microsoft. And it's a bunch of stock quotes and a bunch of pricing and a bunch of this and a bunch of that. So it may look a little boring, but like I said, I mostly put it on there to show you that from a consumer standpoint, all this stuff means nothing. Apple is still strong and moving forward. And then another T-Mobile. T-Mobile USA expands HSPA Plus to nearly 50 major markets um, and huge markets, St. Louis, Kansas City, Cleveland, Cincinnati, Austin, Fort Worth, uh, Portland, Oregon, uh, I'm trying to think, Honolulu, Indianapolis, a whole bunch of major markets. And so the HSP Plus, remember, is kind of like a three, uh, as like kind of like a um, 3G Plus, uh, and it is not quite, it's kind of in between 3G and 4G, but the speeds are to be said as high as or higher than the 4G. And T-Mobile, excuse me, sorry about that. T-Mobile announced that they will be coming out with an actual HSPA Plus phone this summer. But some of them, if you read the article, it'll show you that you can still use some of the features with the current top-end phones. So something, if you have a T-Mobile phone and you do, um, and you've got one at the top end, like a Vibrant or something, read this article. I think you'll get a lot out of it. That's all I got for today. Kind of short day. Hopefully there's more tomorrow. Have a great day. Andy, once again, happy birthday. And remember to see the full articles and see who the winner is of the iOS 4 versus the uh, Android 2.2 Froyo, go to www.phonescholar.com. Have a great day. I'll talk to you tomorrow.